Hello, uh, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets end of days trading the 20th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of economic numbers for the day, we basically have the European markets closing um, the FTSE down 10 points. Uh, due to the weaker retail sales data. Chinese data did actually come in slightly better than expected in terms of retail sales, but the industrial production and the uh, the actual GDP number was nothing of um, of uh, nothing to really uh, excite, okay? In terms of the German DAX, uh, up 33 points, the CAC up 9 points, certainly still uh, uh, relying upon the, um, the dovish Draghi stance, okay? The IBEX and the stock 600 more or less flat. Now, the main um, uh, focus really is on Mr. Trump's uh, uh, inauguration. Now, I call him a Trump. I think you already know You already know why, because he's an idiot. He's just a racist and a bigot, really, a misogynist, xenophobist. I mean, he's literally, everything that's bad in an individual really epitomizes Mr. Trump with his 10 bankruptcies and corruption and everything. God knows what else he's up to anyway. But basically, from my perspective, this idiot is, uh, is really is bad for America. And it's actually bad for the stock market, even though the stock market certainly has rallied on the expectation and the hope of this potential uh, fiscal stimulus. Uh, just basically, the the speech today, I mean, I was reading a um, an article uh, from, do you think it was GQ magazine? I can't remember now. Yeah, GQ magazine. And really, it was, it was a good summation, really. I mean, during the campaign, Trump promised to build a wall that Mexico would pay for. He didn't repeat the claim today. Like most of his promises, it will come to nothing. But he has already built walls in American society, which is very important. In the minds of his supporters and between America and the rest of the world, we will all pay for those walls for a long time to come. And that's very, very true. I mean, he is a very divisive character and he is creating hatred uh, in the hearts of individuals. I mean, the fact that his whole uh, slogan is, is is actually building walls as opposed to building bridges, um, that's not good, okay? Certainly isn't good. You should, you should close the divide as opposed to uh, widening this so-called divide and especially given the uh, the actual low-income earners and the high-income earners, there's a massive divide post-QE, he's not going to solve anything at all. If anything, he's going to make it worse, okay? How can a businessman who's failed 10 times and, and declared 10 bankruptcies now go on to actually guide the nation? It is totally beyond me. Logically, it doesn't make sense. Logically. Forget about all the political arguments. Just logically and rationally, how can you have somebody who's so incompetent with any uh, lack of, well, certainly all, any real... Uh, expertise in the field of politics and yet obviously has 10 bankruptcies just totally baffles me okay it's like taking a trade when there's no fundamental argument to support it or technical arguments like you going long on the euro usd for example without any fundamental or technical justification okay it doesn't make sense logically does not make sense it just tells you that uh, and even without a stop loss okay even with like trading without stop loss this individual this literally i mean it's insanity but uh, the stock market so far has obviously interpreted it as bullish, which again, uh, from my perspective, my last two months, uh, November, December, really were negative because I was constantly shorting the equity market. Okay, I had a very bearish view uh, with regards to Mr. Trump, which obviously George Soros shares as well. He was heavily, heavily short going into those months as well. I think he's lost over a billion dollars shorting the market, but that's part and parcel of trading. Okay, you have losses and you have profit. Now this week, for example, uh, up 180 odd points this week last week up 230 odd points so you basically recover from that and then obviously you uh, trade accordingly so at present looking for a bearish bias and getting maintaining my bearish bias okay so in terms of the uk you're looking at weaker retail sales okay so weaker retail sales certainly hurting the uh, FTSE 100 uh, again like i said uh, retail sales from china certainly stronger gdp uh, did slightly beat but nothing spectacular industrial production certainly weaker we had German inflation that was actually coming in line again. Inflation remains a concern, and obviously anti QE rhetoric as well certainly isn't helping. Okay, and uh, in terms of Fed Harker's speech was certainly hawkish as well. So again, it's all about the inauguration, and the concept is is sell the news. Okay, so sell the actual uh, uh, buy the rumor, sell the news. So that's basically what we're seeing at present. Okay. Uh, in terms of this uh, market now let's look at the technical picture now given the fact that the uh, the actual uh, inauguration is already over 
and uh, let's see exactly where we are headed. Okay, German DAX at present. German DAX certainly holding in there, remaining strong, uh, still into resistance still on the daily chart, so not exactly bullish. Stuck at that great wall. Uh, okay, again, interesting how we're alluding to walls with this pillock Mr. Trump in charge now. So you're looking at a gap filled resistance still holding at 11,650. So 11,650 certainly is a cap in terms of any potential rally. Looking at the 10-minute chart now, looking at 10-minute chart, looking at resistance here at 11.630 and then obviously 11.645. So certainly looking for resistance in that region, okay? In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC here. CAC 10 minutes, you're looking at resistance around the 4860 zone, 4865, looking at solid resistance in this zone here and looking for that resistance to hold as well, okay? So looking at 4865, 4870 resistance to uh, hold in terms of French CAC. 60 minute chart, looking at the French CAC, looking at a lower high, a lower low, so should we say, sorry, a lower low. You have the unfilled gap at uh, 4920, although that certainly is a option or certainly is a possibility of closing. And you can certainly see a potential HS formation brewing now as well. You've got the left shoulder here, you've got the head that's obviously been put in, looking for a right shoulder, then looking for a flush down to this key level below which is at 4760. So certainly is indicating to you that European markets want to move lower, thereby US markets have to move lower too. FTSE 100 certainly is struggling to hold on to this support level around the um, 7195 zone, okay? Struggling all day to hold on to that potential zone. Uh, daily chart does indicate that it wants to move lower. Uh, the FIB 38% retracement is at 7170, and then we have gap fill at 7120. One would certainly expect that gap to close. Okay, certainly would expect that gap to close, especially with Mr. Trump now as well, potential top in the S&P 500. Now, the next potential support in the FTSE 7180, and then your support at 7170. So watch out for those zones, 7170, 7180, in terms of the next potential move. Okay, the actual Euro stocks, before I finish now, because this video certainly is a long one, I do try to keep it short and brief. Okay, so 10 minute chart, certainly a uh, holding resistance at the key 3306 level, certainly indicating uh, exhaustion really in this potential move. Looking for a lower high now, lower lows, lower highs certainly in, in, ensue. There is a gap fill up above. Now there is a HS formation brewing, so again, looking for this HS formation to play out and then looking for a move lower on the euro stocks. Okay. Be sure to visit cfds.com specialist in spread betting the CFD brokerage and certainly take advantage of that, that potential bonus and be sure to visit Trade Signal for your latest signals and market updates. Goodbye now.